computing p-values. By now you should already understand how to compute a z-score and use Minitab to look up that probability. Remember you'll go to Calc, Probability Distributions, Normal. Now if you're looking for the probability that z is less than or equal to, let's say, negative 2.56, that's a cumulative probability. All you need to do is enter negative 2.56 as the input constant. Minitab by default has the mean and standard deviation for the standard normal distribution, otherwise known as the Z distribution. They're already there. If you're looking for a percentile of Z, then you would select inverse cumulative probability and enter that probability of whatever percentile you're looking for. Let's say that we're dealing with the T distribution. We'll go back to Calc probability distributions but this time we'll select T. Cumulative probability will give you the probability that t is less than or equal to something, like the test statistic that you have computed. Let's say we're doing a two-sided test and we have computed the test statistic to be 1.58 with 45 degrees of freedom. Then all we need to do is enter our degrees of freedom and select input constant that's where we will enter 1.58. With these settings, when I click OK, Minitab will give us the cumulative probability of 1.58. Use your knowledge of probability rules to get the p-value that you want. In this case, Minitab did not give us the p-value. Let's say that we wanted to compute a confidence interval. We know that the cumulative probability for the multiplier value that we want is 0 0.95, and we have 88 degrees of freedom. Minitab can give us the t-multiplier. If we go back to the Calc menu, Probability Distributions, and select T, we can highlight Inverse Cumulative Probability. I'll enter in the correct degrees of freedom, 88, and the input constant is going to be the cumulative probability at the value that we want for the multiplier. Now when I click OK, Minitab will give us the correct t-multiplier. We can also do the same thing for the chi-square distribution. Let's say that we need a p-value. Back in the Calc menu, Probability Distributions, this time we'll select chi-square. Cumulative probability is what you want to select if you're looking for a p-value. Let's say that we computed the test statistic to be 10, and the degrees of freedom are 8. Here I can enter the degrees of freedom, and the test statistic is the input constant. Remember that Minitab will give us the cumulative probability. This is not the p-value. Use your knowledge of probability to get that p-value. What if we want to know the 99th percentile of the chi-square distribution with 12 degrees of freedom? We can go back into the Calc menu, Probability Distributions, chi-square,
If we're given the percent that we want to find for a percentile, that's an inverse cumulative probability. Enter the correct degrees of freedom, and the input constant is the probability that's given, 0 0.99. Then Minitab will give us the value of chi-square, the 99th percentile.